There was a time very long ago when the Israelites faced much oppression in Egypt. During that time, a baby named Moses was born into the tribe of Levi. Due to a cruel decree by Pharaoh, who feared the growing number of Israelites, Moses' mother courageously placed him in a waterproof basket and set him afloat on the Nile River. It was a desperate act of love to save her son from Pharaoh's decree. Miraculously, the basket floated into the hands of Pharaoh's daughter, who found the baby and, moved with compassion, decided to raise him as her own. Thus, Moses grew up in the palace, unaware of his Hebrew heritage. As Moses matured, he became aware of the suffering of his people. One day, while witnessing an Egyptian mistreating an Israelite, Moses intervened, and in a fit of anger, he killed the Egyptian. <gasps> Fearing the consequences, Moses fled to the land of Midian, where he became a shepherd. One day, while tending sheep near Mount Horeb, Moses encountered a burning bush that spoke with the voice of God. God revealed his plan to free the Israelites from slavery and appointed Moses as their leader. Despite Moses' initial reluctance, he returned to Egypt to confront Pharaoh. The confrontation between Moses and Pharaoh unfolded through a series of plagues, each more severe than the last, demonstrating God's power. From frogs, to locusts, and even a hailstorm, Pharaoh didn't listen. His stubbornness eventually led to the tragic final plague, the death of the firstborn in every Egyptian household. Overwhelmed with grief, Pharaoh finally relented, allowing the Israelites to leave. The Israelites packed up their things and set off on a journey, ready for a grand adventure. But hold on, Pharaoh changed his mind. He sent his army racing after them, and it seemed like trouble was brewing. Now, Moses and the Israelites came upon the Red Sea and could not pass. But lo and behold, God spoke to Moses and guided him. Moses was able to lift his staff and whoosh, the Red Sea split right down the middle, creating a dry path. The Israelites strolled through on dry land and Pharaoh's army tried to follow. But, oh dear, the sea came crashing back, leaving the bad guys all wet and defeated. The Israelites cheered, hooray, freedom. Now the Israelites weren't exactly sure where they were headed, but God had a plan. They traveled through the desert and lo and behold, God sent them tasty food called manna from the sky. It was like a heavenly picnic every day. They camped at Mount Sinai, where God gave Moses the ultimate rule book, the Ten Commandments, a guide for living the best kind of life. So you see, when life gets tough, trust that God has a plan. He can lead us through the trickiest situations and guide us to freedom, joy, and the most exciting adventures imaginable. Hope you enjoyed and see you in the next story.